There's a new kind of taxi coming to New York City. You've likely heard about the New York Taxi of Tomorrow rolling out onto city streets this fall. But first, look for six of Nissan's Leafs to be used as taxis in and around the city. Nissan donated six special taxis to New York City's Taxi and Limousine Commission for electric vehicle trials. The Nissan Leaf is 100% electric, currently available at dealerships. One thing that makes Nissan so appealing as a partner for the Taxi of Tomorrow project is its strong commitment to electric vehicle technology. The point of this LEAF Taxi pilot program is to test electric vehicle technology on New York City streets to try to make progress toward New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg's goal of having one out of every three New York taxis be electric by the end of the decade. We're going to put six Nissan fully electric LEAF vehicles on the road as taxis for a year to see how you integrate an electric vehicle into the taxi duty cycle. You know, taxis are on the road 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So we have to figure out how you integrate the charging into that taxi cycle. Independent taxi drivers and fleet owners volunteered to provide full taxi service using the all-electric Nissan LEAF. There are already fast chargers in the city that charge the LEAF in only 30 minutes. And the drivers who volunteer to drive the electric cars can also use standard level 2 chargers available at their homes and inside fleet garages. On red lights, I want to surprise a few uh, boy racers out there. I want to take advantage of that, you know, the instant acceleration. It doesn't have to go through the transmission, so yeah, it should be some fun. <laughs> New York City's Taxi of Tomorrow coming in the fall is not electric, but Nissan executives say there will be hybrid options available and an electric option in the future. We have a big taxi fleet, 13,000 plus cars. Uh, if you can turn even some of those, not to say all of them at some point, into electric vehicles, that is a huge win for the environment.